Hi there. I'm Auntie Sarah from Coffee Craft. And to kind of say welcome to my channel and, you know, I'm excited to start and create content for you guys. I thought it'd be fun to give you kind of like a intro to who am I and what inspires me and something that actually did inspire me um, to start this kind of a video was the Vanity Fair interviews with Billie Eilish that they do every year. And I thought it would be really fun to answer those 10 questions today for you, just from my perspective. And, you know, if this is something that you guys like and you're interested in, maybe I can reflect next year and answer the questions again. So if you're excited to get to know me, grab yourself a warm cup of motivation and let's get started. I think the advice I would give myself a year from now is to think about what happened in that past year, think about the highlights, think about the lows, and, and decide, can we get more highlights next year? Can we do more of the things that I love to do? I really am striving to have fun, right? Enjoy things and experience happiness, right? Whether that's through my craft or going and experiencing trips and other parts of life with my friends and family. Um, hopefully a year from now, I'll have lots of those experiences. Well, a year ago, I honestly wasn't even thinking about starting something like Coffee Craft. Um, I was just working full time at a corporation and I was doing crafts for fun to give to my friends or just to try to really reflect on how much, you know, I love my friends and think of ways to communicate that to them, right? So my advice to myself from a year ago would be to honestly just keep my friends in mind, keep those people that inspire you really close and keep being inspired and try new things and keep communicating to them. Well, I think my favorite movie from this year has been Top Gun. Um, I just, I've been loving the 80 vibes recently. <laughs> and that movie is just such, such, such a great quality for like, um, having very few CGI events. It's all real and I just, I think that's so amazing. And it's such a high energy movie. Good. Well, my favorite color for many years has been red. <laughs> I love pretty much all colors, Always, but you know, I, I always think those warm tones are always calling me to a little bit more. So, red's me. <sighs> you know, I think my biggest regret has been how much I've been self sabotaging. You know, as you make decisions, there's always that little piece of your mind that thinks, you know, you probably can't do it. If you try, people will make fun of you. Or, you know, don't even start because you don't know that it'll be perfect. Well, let me tell you, if you never try and you never start, it certainly never will be perfect. <laughs> I can't expect to make a masterpiece on the first try and neither should you. Um, and I regret all the things I haven't tried and all the things I haven't done solely because of this idea of judgment from someone else. And honestly, that shouldn't matter. You should try. You should do anything you are inspired to do. That's what I regret. I've learned that you can trick your subconscious. That's the most recent learning I've had. You can trick your logical mind into believing in yourself solely by trying. You know, I uh, started journaling 
and I've been writing down, you know, things I'm happy for from today and things that I'll be happy for when they're done. And then I've just been pretending that they're completed and writing one more line of how good my life is now that it's over. Now that whatever that thing I've been worrying about is done, I'm so happy, I'm so grateful, and it really wasn't as hard as I thought it was. And honestly, everything that I have written down that way, I have solved quickly and easily after I did that journaling. Our brains are very capable. <laughs> and my logical mind, my logical training doesn't believe it, but in reality, that's what's been happening for me. So if you haven't tried journaling, it's mind blowing how much your subconscious really controls. Honestly, I just would love to travel to any country. You know, I've, I've got friends from all around the world at this point. So, you know, going to visit one of their home uh, countries, that'd be really fun. Or even just visiting a place that I don't know anybody there, like um, Greenland or Scandinavia, all those places with like really, really beautiful nature that you can go hiking. That's what I'm here for. I love scenery, as you can maybe tell from the paintings in my background. <laughs> I don't know, I'm really inspired by this world. And, you know, sometimes just the nature itself is really what drives me. Well, I'm sure you've heard of like Hot Girl Summer. Um, this summer, I tried to embrace Hot Gardener Summer. <laughs> You know, I've, I've kind of stepped into trying crop tops, which I've never tried before. That's been really fun and freeing. And, you know, I really love my high-waisted uh, cargo pants because then you have so many pockets, you can put lots of things in them, you know, gardening stuff or not. Uh, and of course, the sun hat with big sunglasses that's been, that's been keeping me nice and pale. <laughs> My philosophy right now is that I will make happy memories and I will help my friends and my family make happy memories. And if I'm not doing that, then I'm not doing the right thing. So whether it's having fun with them or, you know, inspiring them to try something new and encouraging them as they go through the steps of learning, <laughs> that is what I'm here for. I think we should be striving to be happy and make those happy memories because at the end of the day, that's all we've got, right, is just our memories. I want to say thank you for all the hard work that I know you've done. I know that, you know, having a full-time job while doing this really fun project, it's a lot. <laughs> And I know it's scary and having to understand everything like taxes and all these other vague, complicated, ambiguous problems are very stressful. But thank you for trying and thank you for doing. And I know you've done a great job. All right. Well, hopefully you've learned a little bit about Auntie Sarah. <laughs> and... You know, I look forward to our journey through crafting through all different types of projects. Um, at Coffee Craft, we believe that anything you create with your hands at all, whether that's, you know, embroidery, sewing, painting, uh, drawing, wood burning, or even baking and music, those things are all a craft. And they're all great ways to, to be inspired by someone or something and great ways to communicate that inspiration. And we also believe that anyone, absolutely anyone, regardless of your age, gender, background, should be excited to become a crafter, right? It's what we can do with our hands. I think it's what we're meant to do. <laughs> so if you feel that you're going to be judged because you want to learn to sew, don't. Don't care about that. Auntie Sarah believes in you. You can do it. So. If that kind of message speaks to you, or you're interested in learning more, head over to my website at coffeecrafters.org and, you know, take a look at some of the projects and, you know, let me know if you're interested. 
if you're interested in seeing a few pictures about the projects or if you are inspired by something and you create something and you want to share it with me, tag me on Instagram. I've got my handle for that in the description below. And I would be thrilled to see whatever you are inspired to make. And I'd love to learn about who you were inspired by to make that thing. So until next time, I will talk to all of you later. Bye-bye.